we have to break down the situation to identify the root cause of the misunderstanding so as a project manager we have to contribute to you know also identifying where this understanding is lost so because we have to stop it from you know getting repeated again we have to survey all the necessary parties uh, to reach the consensus if there is a miscommunication or misunderstanding we have to bring both the parties together and then you know make them understand we have to support the outcomes of the parties agreement once the both parties come into an agreement we have to support them you know it might when we say support it might also involve uh, some relaxation in the budget or getting a new timeline all these things we have to agree again based on the project needs and you know finally we have to investigate the potential misunderstanding you know potential misunderstandings is the misunderstandings that could happen right so we also have to contribute there again on the left we have some hints or bullet points where you can focus while you are learning this task and uh, on the right you have some example questions right in this task how a question might come all right moving on domain 1 task 11 engage and support virtual teams so since last 2 years we have seen a phenomenal growth in the virtual working style so the covid outbreak has taught the companies and the employees how you know the very complex task can also be handled working from our homes nowadays the offices are reopened yes but the employees and the companies both they are actually in favor of you know hybrid working styles where some days the employees get to work from home even after the covid the virtual teams uh, can be bigger than the office right so if you have an office space for 100 people let's say the virtual team could be 150 so more work can be done in less time and uh, less office management costs okay there are so many pros and cons uh, to the virtual way of working but that's not something to be discussed here in this topic so uh, the working nature of this virtual style has its own special needs and requirements be it in terms of facilities that they need or be it in terms of the meeting times and uh, you know even monitoring what the virtual team is doing it's quite challenging you know so it is the project manager's duty to make sure you engage with these virtual teams to support them in different occasions so the work goes like this so let's see what the pmi is expecting us to do here engage and support virtual teams we have to examine what the virtual team members need we have to investigate the alternatives like a new communication tools might come the zoom call is emerged during the, the covid times right so you know implement the options for virtual team member engagement we have to continually evaluate the effectiveness of the virtual team member engagement so that's about this task so again just have a look at what points that you have to learn for this task and uh, here are some example questions that might come in this task okay moving on domain 1 task 12 defining team ground rules so this task is uh, all about setting and uh, maintaining the etiquette within the organization so not just about being polite to the fellow stakeholders but uh, also to define when to be formal and uh, when can one be you know casual let's take an example here imagine a customer has invited an engineer who is working on the after sales team to present on his product and the customer premises you can think of like 50 people are going to listen to this presentation in such a prestigious opportunity the engineer who was selected the after sales person he has to take this presentation in the company designed presentation format only right so he cannot just casually open a random microsoft ppt slide and then he cannot just give the presentation because he is going to represent the whole company when he is giving that presentation right so some rules has to be followed similarly when we get an email from a colleague uh, within the same team uh, we sometimes tend to answer it the casual way or we may not even reply to her right so we'll just ping them on the chat box or maybe we will just walk to the table and then answer her but imagine when a email comes from a functional leader let's say the chief technology officer or from the top management has asked you for a status of a project right so you cannot just simply ping him in the chat say hey what's up the job is still not done so we cannot do that we have to follow some ground rules in the company so these are very simple examples that i have given here to bring the understanding of the task but what is expected thus with the project manager in terms of pmi is as shown here task 12 defined 
team ground rules we have to communicate organizational principles within the team and the external stakeholders so we have to establish an environment that fosters the adherence to the ground rules so everybody has to follow whatever these ground rules are for that particular company you don't have to be really strict but because everybody knows once you say that there are ground rules 99.99% of everybody except the ones who are really notorious they will follow all the ground rules we have to help in managing and rectifying the ground rule violations also right somebody is reluctant to follow the one as i said a little while ago so we have to define what could be the the consequences of not following these rules okay so this sounds quite generic but uh, i have formulated what things that you have to learn to answer the questions from this task and also a few examples are given here okay moving on domain 1 task 13 mentor relevant stakeholders mentorship is all about uh, you know helping and guiding the other stakeholders about work if there is a new team member who joined the team she may have enough knowledge to handle the complex you know complex to complex tasks but when she joined in your company she still needs some time to understand the product that your organization is working on the ways of the company are new to her the documentation processes are new to her the general meeting frequencies are new to her she may not know when is the next meeting so there are many new things that the new colleague may not know so it is important for the project manager to take care of such people who needs this mentoring uh, this is quite different from training uh, training only you know teaches how to work on a tool or a process but this mentoring is more about being uh, quite empathetic towards that person with lesser awareness you know and uh, grow his or her understanding about the process